Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick um, what it looks like when you have uh, math problems that are very close to each other. So whenever a math teacher is working like this, there's a couple of different things they can do. So if it has a if it's a really simple math answer, they could just draw a square and make it a text answer and just put in a number. So if it's really simple like that, no big deal. But if I wanted to actually like answer this question that has a fraction, I draw it, I come over here, I can actually switch to a math or chemistry answer. I can click in here, click the editor, and I could actually say the correct answer is 3 over 3. So I guess there's, let's say it's this one, or I could just hit the slash, you know, oh, my bad. Hang on, so it'll be this right here, 3 over 3 update and then it, it'll do it like a fraction and so um, <clears throat> there's also another way so if I want to show if I want them to be able to write on this I can draw a box over the entire problem and then I can click create and if, again if it's a simple answer I can just click on show your work and then I can just say the answer is you know three and then this whole area right here, the students can actually write in, and then they just place their answer here, and it gets automatically graded. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually um, switch this to a math or chemistry show your work. And now I could, you know, actually do that. And then again, they can write and draw, but this will show them in a math or chemistry. So what's cool about this is I'll switch back over here. So I have two questions. And I'll show you kind of what it looks like as a student. So you can have your teachers, if they go to hand grade, and oh, I haven't assigned that. So let's assign this real quick. So right there, click assign this worksheet. Oh, sorry, it's right here. Assign this worksheet. I'll just assign it to my first period. And so now, when I go back to it, I can click on hand grade. And now I can close this because I'm not actually going to grade it. But just to show you what it looks like, this is what it looked like for the students. So the student can actually put in whatever answer. And then right here, it's going to look like this. They click on that, and it actually blows it up full screen for them. And so now, even though it was a small little area on their original paper, now it's full screen. They can write whatever they want to write. They can, you know show the teacher that they understand that you know this plus that you know equals two and that you know stays three and then they can actually come back here and then they can put in their answer two thirds like that so anyway i hope this answers your question if you have any other questions please feel free to email me